I think we can all pretty much agree that there are lots of cockamamie schemes coming out of government to do with resetting the state of our climate and getting rid of petrol and diesel cars and old boilers and various other things. Well, it would appear that one of Boris's cockamamie schemes has come unstuck. Oh dear, oh dear. How do everyone? Welcome back to the channel for a Tuesday. Hope you're doing all right. I've just got back from the driving range and it was a piss poor performance on my part. I couldn't hit a ball bloody 50 yards and my little boy was doing 105. So there you go. It's the next Nick Faldo in the making. Anyway, that's not what this video is about. Green agenda. We've heard it all along with all the Kung Flu related bullshit that's coming out in the news. Now, let me see. They want to change the kind of fuel that goes in unleaded cars, therefore wiping out quite a large percentage of cars from the roads because they won't be compatible with this fuel. Sadiq uh, Jabid or Khan, whatever you want to call him, wants to expand the congestion and new lead zones to cover pretty much the whole of London, past the north and south circular. Uh, what else have we got? They want to insist everyone is having hybrid and electric cars. And Boris wanted to ban gas boilers from our houses by 2035. <coughs> Fail! Yes, Boris originally wanted us all to uh, dump our gas boilers and go on hydrogen with the associated pumps. Therefore, another attempt to save the planet and the environment and the climate. Now you look at the progression, you've gone from the old coal bunker, cold fueled open fires in the living room through to the gas boilers of today, combi boilers and now hydrogen. Now the reason it's fallen flat on its ass is because of the cost of ownership. Hydrogen boilers at the moment cost somewhere around the region of £14,000 and that's before you think about fitting the damn things or the upkeep, servicing or anything else. So it is cost prohibitive and all it would do is put our heating bills sky high through the roof. It's going to make a lot of people very angry and a certain blonde haired, scraggly haired politician very unpopular. It's not a move that is going to happen very quickly or as quickly as they think. It's a bit like trying to ban all the old cars. Again, I don't think it's going to happen very quickly. Look, I'm all for trying to keep an eye on the environment and trying to do our bit to, you know, maintain our existence as long as we can on this big blue globe. You should have seen some of the pictures of heavily polluting places like China and India when... You know, we were right in the middle of what's been going on and those countries were given a chance to rest. Beautiful blue oceans, clear skies, you know, it's like Mother Nature was having its way. But we can't rush this. I mean, in my opinion, it's a disaster waiting to happen, as I'm sure it is yours. But it's just going to cost a lot of people a lot of money and a lot of hassle. And it needs thinking through properly, not rushed. It's all political targets again. And it's going to end in tears, in my opinion. Let me know what you think in the comments below. But I think you could class this as a Boris blunder. This is the Gabby Cabby, signing off. Doodaloo.